Good morning everyone, Rob Guilty, Rob Guilty Property. So uh, you want to get a loan in uh, South Africa, you want to get a mortgage loan so that you can buy that lovely home, but where do you start and how do you go about it? Let's go and see. So how to get a mortgage loan in South Africa. Now, the first place to always start is make sure that you don't have any outstanding credit card problems, anything outstanding on your loans, unpaid car payments, um, anything that has to be given back, or um, any low credit scores issue on your credit record. Really important, make sure your credit record is squeaky clean, because I can tell you now, you might be able to get an HP installment on clothing with a bit of a poor credit record. You might even be able to get a personal loan, but you will not get a loan from the bank for your mortgage. Out of the question, no bonds, okay? So when you're looking for a mortgage loan, squeaky clean credit record. Then, do yourself a favor, when you start looking for a property, get yourself a good bond originator. Now, every property consultant in town will have a bond originator that they work with or a financial partner or someone that can help you with this, right? They're going to sit down with you, they're going to work out your affordability and they're going to give you probably a pre-approved certificate which is a bit like having a bit of cash when you go to buy a house. But the really important thing here is you've worked out your affordability. You know how much of a loan you can achieve. Now, Remember this, that doesn't mean you can go out, purchase a home, and get a 100% bond or 105% bond. That doesn't mean that's what you're gonna achieve. What it means is you qualify for that amount. So let's say you qualify for two million rand. That doesn't mean you can buy a house for two million rand. It might mean you can have 90% of the funds towards the purchase of a house that's 2.2 or 2.3 million rand. Okay, and they'll give you two million rand towards it. Doesn't mean they'll give you two million rand for a two million rand house. Be very careful of that because it is dependent on your credit score, it is dependent on your past, and it is dependent on what they're prepared to give you. For example, if you're self employed, your chances of getting a 100% bond are next to nothing. If you're from overseas, your chances of getting a 70%, 80% bond are almost nothing. Okay, so. Be very careful of that. Don't think because you've been pre-approved you're going to get it, all right? For example, you will not get a 100% bond over 3 million rand. Not going to happen, all right? 6 million rand, they're only going to give you 80% if you qualify. So they might say you qualify for 6 million rand. You can get the 6 million rand. But you can only get the 6 million rand if it's 80% of the total value of the property you're purchasing, okay? So there's all these standards you've got to look at. Speak to your bond originator. They'll give you the rundown. They've got all the information and they can help you with that. Really, really, really important to go that route. Because if you don't, when you've set your heart on that home, you just might not get it. Okay? You just might not end up with the property you've set your heart on. And it is really important because the banks are out there advertising, we'll give you 105%, we'll give you 100%, we'll do this, we'll do that. And when it comes down to it, they're looking for every excuse not to give the bond and every you know every scenario possible and, and, and what have you. So with that, you know, it, the easiest, the easiest, easiest route is just to have someone doing it for you, just to have a financial expert looking at all your finances, going through the whole scenario and whatnot. Now, the next thing you've got to worry about is make sure that your bank statement has got a salary in it for at least six months, okay? Don't have a situation where there's gaps or changes. And, and this lockdown has really affected the market with this because the banks still look at this. If there's a missing payment for a month, you can't have a loan. It's just one of those things. It's not going to happen. Um, or 
if your salary changed or anything to that effect, it's a red flag for the banks and that's going to be an issue. So try and keep a constant salary for six months and if you are employed, at least have the pay slips and, 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 and you know, then you can hand the pay slips in. And another thing to do is when you put an offer in on a property and you apply for a loan at the bank, don't go and buy a car, don't go and take an HP on something and don't go and take another personal loan because it's going to pop up, okay, when they're doing your check and it's going to change your credit score and they're going to say, oh, no, 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 you just bought that so that you can't have this money anymore. So all that pre-approval that you did six months ago is worthless, okay, because you just spent half a million rand on a nice fancy car. It just detract, detracted from the loan that you're going to get now and they just turn around and say, no, that, that doesn't work. Don't go and buy a brand new car as you buy your house. Buy your house first, then go get your car. Much easier. Okay. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight. Gives you a little bit of insight to getting a loan. I <laughs> hope you get your loan and I hope you get your house. All good. Don't forget, I sell property. Call me first and uh, do me a big favor. Go down and find the like button. Kick it in the ass and give it a good one. Um, and then also, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like the Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram. Until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys. Thank you.